The heart of Iran rests here, in the bazaar. People from all walks of life pour in every day to the sprawling covered market. The bazaar here is like the backbone. It provides cohesion and keeps everything together. Bazaars are known to be always busy and they keep their cities vibrant with all the trades and activities. If a bazaar is doing well, so is the city. That's how it has always been. And Isfahan is no exception. In the alleyways of the city's old bazaar, I can see it in the faces around me. People here feel caught up in the latest crisis with the United States. The bitter blend of U.S. sanctions and an overall economic downturn pose a challenge to these copper engravers, or galamzaniha as known in Persian. We can't say that the sanctions didn't have an impact. Europeans, for example, used to buy from us before the sanctions. Now they don't do any transactions. But there isn't anything we can do but to keep going. The U.S. withdrawal from the nuclear deal in April has left the markets here in the middle of a perfect storm. With sanctions starting to bite, Isfahan was among a number of cities which have seen large-scale protests. The government, in a bid to avert the crisis, took measures like trading in the local currency, the rial, instead of U.S. dollars. They also promised subsidies to millions of lower-income Iranians. But people are yet to see the impact of these changes on their lives. Many here in the bazaar, struggling on, say they will make the best they can with this situation. The price of our rugs now has become more affordable for our customers. It used to be more expensive when you convert it to US dollars, so this situation is better for exports somehow. It's business that people here are looking for more tourists and less tension. Though, since the U.S. opted out of the nuclear deal, their lifeline ended, just like the deal, whirling in the wind. Ali Hashim, BBC News, Isfahan.